Hi guys, you know, I've been putting this off for quite some time uh, because I was giving it a bit of time and I wanted to do a bit of research and, and you know, there was also trying to find time when I could actually put a mobile down and record myself without being interrupted. And then I thought, well, if I get interrupted, I'll just pause and I'll keep going because I really want to try this one. Now this is a Nisky, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Shiraz. And it's from the, if I can get the pronunciation right, should be Koleski, Koleski boys, Koleski winery. Now, the thing about, the, one of the reasons it's taken me so long to get around to this one, even though it's been out for a while, is that um, it is from a biodynamic winery. And if you don't know much about biodynamic wineries, uh, basically they're going back to the old way of making wine. So... You know, without the sulfates, well, there'll still be a little bit for preservative, to preserve the wine. But um, to get back to the natural way of running a winery. And so this will be, you know, there'll be certain times of the day that is properly picked and, and there'll be certain spaces between the vines. And, and so basically getting back to the, the natural style. And what you get when you go back to an organic winery that has you know, worked hard to produce um, a very natural tasting wine is a lot more of the terrier comes out in the flavour. So this is one of the reasons why I'm wanting to try this one because not only has it um, rated well and it's selling well, um, it's uh, it's probably going to be the first organic Shiraz I've had. So, <laughs> so I definitely want to try this. So forgive me, I don't have a proper setup set up here, um, so you won't be able to see the bottle uh, unless I move it there. Can you see that? No, it's all right. Let's try that. Okay. Nope. Yeah, no good. Sorry about that. So uh, I'll work something out. So here we are. Mmm, it's a little bit thinner than I thought it would be, but, um, 2012, okay. Mmm. Yeah, so not as full-bodied as I was expecting, but still quite a nice flavor um, trying to get uh, that's what I'm trying to get now I have deliberately not eaten anything for a while because um, I wanted to get the full flavor of this without any you know additional flavors that might come from eating or drinking something else oh, I know what it is yeah, so it's not a it's not a complete Shiraz. There is a there is a blend in there, and I I should have read that before. Okay, so it's ninety percent Shiraz, and then five percent Cabernet Sauvignon and five percent Petite Syrah. And I'll just read the the back, which is a little bit of history for you. In eighteen thirty eight, two ships are sailing bound for Australia. Aboard the zebra is Samuel Johann Nisky, and on the Prince George is Johann George Koleski. They are both pioneering grape-growing families who make the Barossa their new home. Now step forward 130 years in time to 1968, and these two families join when John Koleski marries Lorraine Nisky. Their sons Tony, Kim and Troy run the vineyard and the more recently established winery. However, it was Lorraine's forebears who originally made wine well before the current Koleski boys decided to try their hand. The Nishki family established a winery on the banks of the Jacobs Creek soon after they planted vines in the 1840s. To honour Lorraine's lineage and the inspiration they have bestowed, this wine proudly bears the Nishki name. Alright. Oh, I always like a bit of a story with my wine. So, um, I'm quite impressed with the fact that this is 2012 Shiraz from the Barossa Valley was with a, a bit of a blend in there, um, but it's coming out so well. Now, I wouldn't if you were rating 
uh, the full bodiedness of a Shiraz from one to five, I'd probably, I would probably more likely say this is about a four. However, um, it's difficult to judge because it is a blend. So, and um, has all the the flavors that you come to expect from a Shiraz, and then plus something else. Um, Yeah, so the, if you're looking for some peppery notes in the Shiraz, it's, um, I, I can't detect any myself. Oh, just a faint touch of eucalyptus, actually. Um, hmm. Yeah, slightly menthol, slightly eucalyptus. And... Yeah, it's an interesting combination. Now this Shiraz is very easy to drink. I can't taste the alcohol. I can't taste a high level of acid. Um, so, I would say that this is going to be, from my point of view, from my point of view, this is more of a quaffing wine. Uh, quaffing Shiraz is quite easy. And so I will, as many of you listened to my videos before, no, I do some writing as well. So um, this is <laughs> my wine of choice while I'm doing some writing tonight. So uh, I recommend it. It's very nice. It's a, it's a lighter and uh, very easy to drink. So strongly recommended. If you see it around in any of the bottle shops, give it a try. And if you can't find this, but you are interested in the Koleski Winery. It is organic winery by a dynamic. So visit their website, check out what they do, and try some of their wines. It's a five-star winery, so um, check it out. Catch you later.